All right, so now we're going to be getting right into it. SF Nano versus Jagia. With non-corresponding tags. Non-corresponding in-game tags, that's to say. Get the forward air there into the dash attack. Just going to attack a little bit more damage. Keeping the turn up alive. And another forward air at 96% already. He's calling out the roller option. Throwing out roller at about 10%. Still seems a little bit um, odd. I guess you could say. Back air, getting into the dash grab, trying to get the up throw up air, but Peach a little bit too floaty. Still not gonna be able to do it. Oh, there's the roller. Up smash. Yep. Lots of damage. Trying to have to make up a lot more room. Got some ink on Peach, but the forwarder is still gonna take it. Couple dash attacks. Dash attacks. A couple of up airs just to try and cover any landings. Just a floating hitbox. Peach has become. Downer, forwarder, tack on a little bit more. Ooh, great backer there. A more forwarders. This is where the pressure needs to be floating away and unable to punish. Another roller there out of desperation, 140%. Roller can definitely do it, but. So keep an eye out. Easy backer is going to float down there and try to get the, trying to get the forwarder. Not going to do it. Decide to go for the down tilt. Ooh, the up B able to send her off. Another down smash, not really going to do it. Parasol a little bit too strong. Throwing out a hitbox to contend with the roller. Upper, another upper. Ooh, there's the great forwarder coming out from Jagia. Dash attacks the back air is still going to be, be in full control here. 197%. One back throw can do it actually. Back throw from Nano can actually do it. But yes, the first get in is the drag down up air to the down tilt into the forward air. Just tacking on so much damage. Another forward air, 208%. There's another forward air from the middle of the station that's finally going to do it. Order. A couple of jabs there onto the shield. A lot of lag after that. A couple of down airs, the back air. Just trying to contend with a, a character like Peach in the air. Definitely very risky. Splat bomb actually going to connect. Order. Whatever damage you can get out of this is good damage. Obviously. For obvious reasons. Duh. Big dumb. Forwarder, still not gonna be enough. Ooh, back here, yep. Oh no, that was hip check. Might be. Okay, taking game number one. The hitbox is being thrown out, and Nano somewhat reliant on Roller from the Inkling. Definitely going to keep an eye out on that, but Jagia actually able to space himself out perfectly and be able to get around that. Now we got to see back air into the dash grab, be able to get the up throw into the up air. Solid damage here. But also, you just got to. 
just gotta wait for Jagia as well. He can get one opening, he can turn that into possibly 50 to maybe even 60 damage. Right now he's just gonna find a way in. Splat Bomb coming into play, running right into his shield, and still unable to actually get any damage here. Down tilt actually contending with the other down tilt. So. Forwarders into the into the roller, actually trying to get the tech roll. Did you take full advantage of that? There's another forward air into the up air. Not really gonna connect though. Another roller coming into play. About three quarters of ink left. Not even a quarter of ink left. And Jagia needs to take full advantage of this, knowing that he needs as much ink as he possible just to get that roller out. Splat bomb actually gonna be wasting a little bit more resources as an animal just Unable to breathe here and collect his resources. Can you use it now? There he is. Cold forward air is trying to cover the high recovery. Got half of the ink left. Wasting a good portion of it there. Another dash attack. Still not going to be enough. Is now Jakio being extra patient. Forward throw. Gonna float right there, trying to cover the mid-recovery. There's the back here, and that's going to do it. Nano was such a solid lead from the start. It's now it's kind of falling apart. There it is. Another forwarder. Just as I say it. Decides to take it back. Dash attack. Back here, not really gonna be enough. A couple of jabs there, and the roller actually able to get a good extension off of that. Ooh, nice. Ooh, staring at the screen too long. Up throw, up air. Solid damage. That's a back air. Not really going to be calling out any sort of uh, rollout options. Back there, another roller going almost halfway across the stage, just trying to get a KO here. Nano getting a little bit too impatient here, and Jagia just picking and choosing his battles. Down throw, back air. Trying to get a little bit more out of that, but the platform actually saving him. Another roller, not really going to do it. Decides to retreat away. Now he needs to regather his resources in terms of, uh, in the form of ink, I should say. Back air, still not going to be enough. Splat bomb going out. Ooh. Back throw, not enough. Forward into the dash grab. Oh no, I thought that was a, I thought that was a, a grab. Like the beginning animation of like, uh, of Inkling's jab kind of looks like a grab if you like slow it down a little bit. Just throws you off. There you go. Up throw upper. Still not gonna be enough. Still, Nano showing a lot of a, a lot of resilience here after that after the first game. There's a Nair into the turnip. No jump here. You're gone. Try to roll her back. Forward air into the, into the dash into the dash attack into the up air. Still not gonna be enough though. There's another roller, just trying to fake him out a little bit. Still at 0%, has no real reason to be approaching. Up throw, up air, not really going to do it. Getting a little bit too antsy here, trying to get the kill, and Jagia taking full advantage by ga gaining these punishes. There's another back air. Trying to call out the get-up option, but Peach just a tad bit too slow to actually take full advantage of that. Splat Bomb actually getting tossed away, rate, wasting a little bit more resources. Backer to backer. Oh, there's another roller. So gotta watch those resources. Gotta keep an eye out. Oh, there's a jab. That's not gonna do it just yet, but adding a little bit more extra pressure. Ooh, 
Good. Oh, just going to do it. Nano. Showing some great adaptation. Not showing his hand too early in this set. Unlike in game one, he was throwing out a lot of options and Jagia was taking full advantage of him. But then, Nano decided to slow down his gameplay just a little bit. And, uh, actually able to pick and choose his battles a little bit easier. So now Nano decided to go with a r rather risky pick here in the form of Diddy Kong. It's one of the... I can count on one hand how many times I've actually seen Diddy Kong in Ultimate. And I don't know if that's sad or if I should be worried. But, I mean, after such a great game one and how well he was running with Inkling, this is actually a very interesting surprise pick. Ooh, the pivot grab, an accidental pivot grab. I know how, I know that feel. You get a little bit too excited on the sticks, and you end up just pivot grabbing just, just because it just happens. Right, banana not coming into play as there's the peanut pop gun. I'm not sure if that was intentional. There's the forwarder. Ooh, there's a short hop near into the upper. Still not gonna get enough, but that's a that's a very scary combination. Command grab. Tack on a little bit more. Banana now in play again. Peanut pop gun just trying to uh trying to entice him to throw out something risky. Up throw? No forward throw, okay. Oh, there's the back air calling out. Call it the monkey flip. There he goes. Barrels now <laughs> straight into the stage. Very risky. Another command grab. Just going to pummel away and get it. Oh. Banana toss. Off the shoe. Not going to get it. There's... Oh, there's the back air. Not enough. Backer was enough, but the monkey flip was not. Nano just doing a lot of very risky monkey flips back onto the stage, and Jagia taking full advantage of that. Oh, down tilt, down tilt. Another forward tilt. There's another monkey flip back into the middle of the stage. Not really going to get it just yet. Monkey flip again into the stage, and again into the stage. It's like three, and like maybe the span of about five seconds. Okay. Oh. Up to up air, up air. Okay. 61% already on Nano. 76 here, and it's only been a couple seconds into the stock. There's the forward air trying to chase him down with the dash attack. Not really going to get it just yet. I think a better option for that would actually be the monkey flip. If you know they're going to tech away, then you can just do it. You can just go for the attack. Uh-oh, barrels. Oh, you're gone. The snipe with the turn up, and that's going to do it. Jagia taking it. 2-1. Nano with the surprise pick with Diddy Kong not working out in his favor. Such a shame. But that's just how the cookie crumbles. Very interesting choice. So now Lord Bahamut is going to be coming up here. Versus a player who is apparently rocking Joy-Cons. As you can see, he's rocking the, um, I guess, the arms Joy-Cons? I like the color. Colors are nice. Kind of showing them off. Like, hey, man, check, 